What's going on guys? Today we're gonna to talk about how to get regular business credit and how to get very nice business credit. There's a lot of information online about how to get business credit and a lot of it's true. However, we kind of miss the finer details of getting business credit. And to help you with that, I have a free offer. It's going to be in the description and it's going to be in the first comment, the Modern Money Mindset Course. It's a course that's going to teach you how to optimize your money and how to build business credit. We're going to go deeper in how to get business credit. So go ahead and get that. One of the things I consistently see is how to get business credit without essentially a business. You've set up your LLC, your EIN, your business checking account. And if you know what to do, you can get a lot of business credit this method. However, I wanted to share some of the things that I have gone through in terms of getting business credit one of the things I did last year is I went on a spree applying for personal credit cards. And what I am finding out, just applying, I have good credit, I have good income, but because I had so many credit inquiries and I had so many application and new accounts, this started to become a problem for me getting business credit. This started to become a real big problem because I had a ton of inquiries. At the moment, I looked, I've got 52 inquiries showing on my credit reports. I ran into these situations where Bank of America said no, even though I did provide tax returns because of those inquiries. And then I ran into some other situations where banks were like, could you show us that you have the money on hand that you're applying for? Which actually I did. And I started to see there's another angle to getting finer business credit. Once again, if you know what to do, you can get a lot of business credit with a brand new LLC, EIN, LL, business checking account. But here's the thing. Let's take American Express. With American Express, you're going to show have to show an, a checking account that's had not one, not two, but three months of activity for them to even consider giving you a business American Express card. And this is where the problem comes in because for most people, they're most active checking account is their personal checking account. And that's one of the big issues that you run into with getting nicer business lines of credit. I'm gonna say something that may sound a little dismissive, but virtually anyone with a 740, 750 credit score can get an American Express Business Platinum. However, my American Express Business Platinum has a $50,000 pay over time limit. I guarantee you, you're not gonna get that with a small checking account or you, because it's a combination of things. It's the credit score, which is important, but more important is the income. And this is one of the things that's going to get you to the nicer credit limits. It's going to get you to, essentially with American Express, I have $350,000 worth of business credit, actual business credit. This includes my American Express Platinum card, which has a $50,000 pay over time credit limit. So I can use that card like a credit card and I just don't because I don't know what that pay over time limit interest rate is because I haven't done that. But essentially, if you have the income, and this is the key, you can get serious business credit. And this is one of the things because I've been looking at the how YouTube spins up the videos. And the videos that are speaking to people who have no money, speaking to people who are in a really bad situation and how to get business credit, how to get started. These videos do really well. But what I feel is missing out the conversation is somewhat of a middle ground. Let's say you are a business owner, small business owner. You've been in business three to five years. You've got tax returns and you could go, once again, knowledge is power. Because if you know what to do, because once again, I recommend that you go ahead and get into the free money management course, because even if you are a business owner with three to five years experience tax returns, this course will help you dramatically increase your business credit profile. And one of the things that happens in here, because, you know, like I said, I've had PNC Bank send me an application with a small business thing because of all of those applying and all of those inquiries and all those new accounts. And this year I'm in what's called a gardening phase. I'm not 
planning on applying for anything that's going to show up on my personal credit report. And I'm pretty much trying to stay away from things that will give me a hard inquiry because I want to go from last year to January of 2024 with no new inquiries. And this is let my credit for the lack of a better word age a little bit and let those inquiries start to because essentially after being on your credit report one year, credit inquiries lose all their power, but they still show up. What I want to do is in January of 2024, I have some new goals and stuff that I want to go after, but I have to let my credit report age. I have to let some time come on into the situation where I can actually get away from the problems that I've had. Because if I could do it over again, I would have not went on that personal credit card spree that I went on last year. And also I did a lot. I went on a personal credit card spree. I bought a Porsche. I financed it. There, there's a lot of activity on my Experian credit report. There is a ton of activity. Fortunately for me, Porsche actually pulled Equifax to finance that loan. But essentially, I want to put out some information for the not brand new person, but for the beginning entrepreneur, because here's something that may blow your mind. Let's say you have a business that does $150,000 a year and you have relationships. Let's say you go to PNC. PNC has this program right now where you can get a credit card and a business line of credit up to $100,000 without showing documentation. What you would do is go into PNC, you would go ahead, get the credit card, and then apply for a line of credit. Now, here's one of the problems that you would run into with PNC. Problem that I ran into with PNC. If you have a lot of inquiries, if you have a lot of new accounts, they're gonna be, we all know about that. They didn't say no, but they offered me something else. So. What you want to do is a seasoned business owner is have what I call a cleaner credit report. You want to have very few inquiries. You only want to apply for credit every three months, maybe every six months. So this gives your credit report time to age, gives you time to facilitate these things because as a small business owner making $150,000 a year, you can go into PNC, you can go into Truants, you can go to Wells Fargo, and you can go to certain credit unions. And literally within a year, you could get half a million dollars in true business credit. Now, what do I, when I say true business credit? This is credit cards and lines of credit. And once again, like there's a lot of discussion about how to take the credit off of a credit card. I'm not a big fan of that because to do it correctly can be really expensive. If the credit card has a feature where you can take money off the credit card and shift it to your checking account, that's the best way. There are ways that I cover in the money, the modern money mindset course, but one of the things that you have to understand and one of the things is you have to appreciate Knowledge is power, and when you know certain things, you can get bigger bank, bigger bank, bigger benefits. And essentially, if you don't have a business that has a million dollars, that's doing like a million dollars, you want to, st you want to stay far away from having to turn in tax returns because once you turn in tax returns, they're only going to give you an approximate limit. If you're doing one hundred and fifty thousand, they're going to put you at fifteen to twenty thousand for your line of credit, which you can get without providing documentation. Actually, you can get more without providing documentation because it's all about what you know and how you understand it. And as a small business owner, knowing the right things and knowing how to govern yourself, you could easily get half a million dollars in business credit. And if you, but once again, it all starts with your personal credit. I'm gonna share something with you. I have no expectations of using my personal credit outside maybe another car loan or buying a house. My credit cards on my personal credit report are for show. It's, hey, he has a lot of credit cards, he has high limits, he doesn't get in trouble, his credit score remains high. That's because my personal credit report is a beacon for my business credit report. 
because my business credit card, because essentially the way that I see it, if I ever, because at the moment I don't carry a limit on none of my personal cards and I'm not carrying balance on any of my business credit cards, but let's say, let's fast forward. Let's say I get into some business where I need to carry a balance for two or three months. I don't want to do that on my personal credit cards. That is the farthest thing away from my mind. I don't want to carry a balance on my personal credit cards. So if I have the need in the future for, and there are many valid business reasons why I will explain one of them to you, why there are many valid business reasons why you may want to use credit for a season and then pay it off. I'm getting ready to start running some paid advertising. And once again, if you understand how paid advertising works, you will understand what I'm getting ready to say. If you can go ahead and run ads for three months in a row, but the first ads is to give away a free product, which you're not gonna make any money. And the second amount of ads is to retarget those people for a paid product. And the third month is to keep retargeting these people. You can make a lot of money, but you're going to have to spend money for two to three months before you make money. And if this is your plan, and once you get it going, once you get it going, because essentially you're going to have to carry that balance on your credit cards for about three months. But once you get it going and it starts rolling, then you'll start getting paid every month. And that's a valid reason that you may want to carry some extremely large balances on your credit cards that will pay off. That's a valid business need. And this is one of the reasons that I have really pushed on getting very high limits with my business credit cards. And one of the things is it's really important for you to understand the relationship of your business credit and understand the relationship of how your business brings in money. Because if you're bringing in the money, then you can use the business credit. One of the reasons that there's nothing on my personal credit, I've made a personal declaration that I am not using my personal credit cards for anything other than maybe a car loan or a housing loan. That's it. And then everything else goes on my business credit cards. And I know there's going to be someone who's going to raise their hand, but hey, Glendon, aren't you going to get in trouble if you keep using your business credit for personal things? And I've been doing this for years and I've never gotten in trouble. I've never gotten an email or a message from any of the banks because here's the thing. Right now, we live in a very liquid world. Now, what I'm liquid, there are so many business models that you can set up. You can set up a YouTube business. You can set up OnlyFans business. You can set up an Instagram business. You can set up a Facebook business. There are so many businesses that you can set up where you can go out, give you an example. You go out to the store and you buy $1,500 worth of new clothes, right? That, from the casual perspective, looks like it's a personal expense, right? But you buy this new wardrobe to present when you're doing your video. So it's a business expense and it's a tax deduction. So one of the things you have to understand is you can go ahead and set this up and protect your personal credit and then use your business credit to spend and to have to enjoy your life, to buy personal things. And this is something else too. I do not use my points for business trips. If I have a business trip, if I'm gonna go somewhere, I'm gonna swipe the American Express Platinum or I may use the Delta Sky Miles and I'm gonna book that trip using business expenses and I'm gonna pay for it. And I'm gonna take the tax deductions because see, what, what are your tax deductions on a trip that you take with points? There is no tax deduction because you didn't spend any money. So all of my miles and points are for personal travel, personal expenses and things like that. But going forward, I will say this, I will use my business credit cards to buy virtually any and everything that I want and need. And this is a very powerful position that you put yourself into. As an average person who wants to create a bank, and this is liquidity to be used in the future, this makes sense. Once again, I would not go out and get a bunch of business credit cards and just go out and start buying foolish, dangerous things. Right now, there's a lot that's happening in the real estate space. There's a lot that's happening 
in the car rental space, there's a lot happening in all of these spaces. And I feel that if you're going out and getting business credit to buy cars for Toro, I feel that could be a little dangerous. I feel that if you're going to use business credit to get into real estate, because here's the thing, you can get business credit, you can use that business credit as a down payment on real estate between the mortgage and paying off the business credit card. It's not gonna leave a lot of money for you. Now, you could make money two or three or four or five years in the future when the house appreciates and you sell the house and then you clear that cash. Now, that's a, an effective strategy, but essentially, what I'm trying to say here is business credit is an extremely important, it's an extremely powerful weapon that you can use to further your already active business. Now, what do I mean by that? I feel that you should start your business with what you have and you should not use a loan or business credit to get it started because if it's working and making money, that's when you go out and bring in business credit to begin to start to move things, you begin to set things up. That's when you begin to use business credit, not a minute before. But there are so many ways that you can get nice business credit, nice being higher than average, and this is covered in the Modern Money Mindset course, which you should get, because I'm gonna teach you how to get a lot of business credit if you actually do the steps that you need to do to prep your personal credit it's amazing because i want you to think who built this system where you can just go in create an llc get an ein get a business checking account and bam you can start getting business credit it's a beautiful thing it's just a beautiful thing so go ahead what i want you to do is subscribe to the channel hit the bell notification and watch this video two or three times and then go below and get the modern money mindset course. It will change your life. This is Glendon Cameron. I'm here today. I'll probably be here tomorrow, probably be here 10 years in the future, and I will see you in the next one.